The KMT is also calling for an investigation in Kaohsiung. Over 6,000 NT being handed out to each family in 26 neighborhoods affected by deadly gas blasts there more than two months ago. The city says it's giving the money as a form of psychological compensation, but critics accuse it of using charitable funds to buy votes. The request that donations made to Kaohsiung gas explosion victims be investigated came from KMT lawmakers. 6,000 NT dollars is being allocated to each household. Is this a covert way of buying votes ahead of the approaching election? We will also submit documents to the Ministry of Justice, asking you to investigate in accordance with the Civil Servants Election and Recall Act. Before this money is used, we want to send a clear message to the Kaohsiung City Government that the National Audit Office is watching you. Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Zhu denied improper use of the funds. I'm shocked that there are these suspicions. All the money, every last cent, has been handled transparently. There's no way use of these donations is related to the election. This is creating an issue when asking public authorities to assist you. Use of the judiciary for electoral advantage is damaging to public power. Former Premier Frank Shea believes the KMT has turned its attentions to Chenju after repeated attacks on candidate Ko Wenja in Taipei failed to yield strong results. Shea urged administrative agencies to exercise neutrality.